Let's look at things pilots need to know about the hydraulic system during normal operation. The hydraulic system is fully automatic during normal operation. During preliminary cockpit preparation, do not pressurize the hydraulic system without clearance from ground crew. One thing to do in this phase of the flight is to look at the ECAM hydraulic page to check the fluid level. At this moment, external power is applied and APU is running. The hydraulic fluid quantity information is displayed at the bottom of the hydraulic page. The green rectangles shown by the arrows represent the normal filling range. The fill level indicators show the actual fluid level. You can see that the actual fluid level is in the normal filling range. This indication is green unless the fluid level drops below the warning level, in which case it becomes amber, as shown in the blue hydraulic system. Another thing that you check during the initial cockpit preparation is that all lights on the hydraulic panel are extinguished. Let's go outside and continue with some things you will see during the exterior inspection. Check hydraulic lines and connections for leaks. Make sure that all hydraulic access doors are secured. In this case, the blue hydraulic bay access door is still open. Opening and closing the cargo doors is part of the normal operation. Let's go to the cockpit to see how it is indicated on the ECAM hydraulic page. The door page is automatically displayed at the gate. To see what happens on the ECAM hydraulic page when a cargo door is opened, select the hydraulic key on the ECP. You can notice that the hollow triangle is white, indicating that the yellow electric pump is off. As soon as the cargo handle is operated, the yellow electric pump runs automatically. Observe on the ECAM system display page that the yellow hydraulic electric pump triangle has changed from hollow white to solid green, indicating that it is running. The yellow system pressure has increased from zero amber to 3000 green providing pressure to operate the doors. The yellow system is not fully pressurized as indicated by the system identification remaining amber. As soon as the door is fully open, the yellow electric pump stops. Notice that the yellow electric pump is now hollow white the pressure has dropped to zero, indicating that the system is totally depressurized. The process will be the same during the cargo door closure. As you already know, during engine start, the engine page is displayed on the ECAM system display. Here, for training purposes, the hydraulic page is displayed to see the automatic operations of the hydraulic system during start, but more importantly, to learn the indications on the ECAM hydraulic page and their meaning. We will start engine two for you. During this sequence, observe the yellow system. You can notice that the pumps legend becomes amber as soon as the engine mode selector is set to ignition start. The yellow engine driven pump changes from low amber to inline green to indicate that it is starting to pressurize. Yellow pressure increases from zero amber to the normal operating pressure 
which is 3000 PSI green. Yellow system identification has changed from amber to white to indicate that the yellow hydraulic system is available. As soon as pressure is above 1450 PSI. Before the end of the first engine start sequence, the blue electric pump starts automatically to pressurize the blue hydraulic system. Then the pump number indication changes from amber to white to indicate that the engine N2 has reached idle. Observe that the blue electric pump indication is now green in line to indicate that the pump is running and pressurized. The pressure in the blue system is 3000 PSI. The blue hydraulic system identification has changed from amber to white to indicate that the blue hydraulic system is available greater than 1450 PSI. Let's now start engine 1. During this sequence, observe the PTU indication as well as green hydraulic system indications. As soon as the second engine start sequence is initiated, the power transfer unit PTU is tested. Notice that the green PTU line connects the yellow and green systems pressurizing the green system to 3000 PSI. On the engine warning display, the hydraulic PTU memo is displayed. Once the start sequence is complete, the PTU is disconnected and the three hydraulic systems are supplied normally. Notice that the hydraulic PTU memo has disappeared. We are now about to take off. Notice that the indications on the hydraulic page are normal.